Yo guys, Pineda here. Ambient is easy. There, I said it. It really is when you're starting initially and trying to learn it and how to make it and all that. But it's not the easiest thing to master for sure. Let me try to explain for those who think that Ambient is basically a washing machine or a dishwasher working in the background for whatever amount of time. Well, it totally might be that, don't get me wrong. Especially if it's some sort of a drone ambient or something very minimalistic. That said, it has beauty in it, it has thought put into it. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Th there are cases when people do some lazy ambient. Most of the time that happens when you're just starting to learn. But that doesn't mean that everything is like that. Most importantly, it doesn't have to be like that. All depends on you. I know a few guys who don't overthink stuff. Let's call it that way. And yeah, there's a lot of samples. There's a lot of contact libraries out there. There's a lot of um, sample packs, field recordings. Uh, zero attribution recordings, etc., etc. You can do a lot with that already. Hell, you can even take your phone, go outside into the city or into nature, just somewhere where things happen, where you can get some unusual soundscapes, where you can get some textures, some noise. Okay, let's just look at some of those things. There we have a good amount of sounds, all sourced from wherever. None of those come from sample packs, by the way. I either recorded them myself or got somewhere myself from, like, I don't know, online radio, something like that. Banging on something. Metro door closing. That's probably some train. There is some rain and birds. Noisy construction environment. Radio recording. These all are pretty interesting sounds on their own. They don't make a story. They don't really create any sort of narrative atmosphere. They just are. And if we try and combine them, and perhaps add just a tiny bit of melodic stuff in there, you can get something pretty magical. Quite cool, isn't it? I think there's already a bit of a, I don't know, imaginary story going on. And you can kind of piece some things together. And yeah, this is done, I don't know, in 10, 15 minutes. It's short. It's like, what, 18 seconds of, of whatever this thing is. There's a bit of tension. There's a bit of a release. There's another tension point, which increases, then just changes into a some sort of weird alien narrative. Yeah, I, I can just go through and say what I did to which of those samples. This guy, duplicated three times. Original, a bit of reverb, sure. Changing the pitch to make it harmonious. Whatever. Then tension is done via Delay with a bit of saturation afterwards, just to have the tail and nice kind of modulated feel to it. Uh, which releases into low noise. The low noise tapers off, and a bit of a reverb tail is left. 
and also there's one layer of noise down pitch train which is a second layer of noise uh, all of that goes into the radio recording which only fades in after some time and goes into the narrative for whatever spoken stuff that is um, this is the only melodic element I have added, which is this guy, JP6K, very basic kind of sound. Saw, reverb, opening and closing filter. That's about it. But you have some dynamics, you have some atmosphere, you have some idea at the very least, and you can progress and develop it further and try to make it into a piece. Maybe there is a very, I don't know, slow kind of build up before that very ambient ish, where very bad based. Um, or maybe that's noise, but not pads instead, or some field recordings. Maybe you have some sort of a haunting rhythmic arpeggio sequences etc etc afterwards at least that's what i usually do um you know each of us has own formula and each of us has to first discover it and see what things work for you and what doesn't work and some people don't bother with all the layering all the fancy stuff and and, and like that um sometimes it's just simple things that work and come together nicely in a bit of a good, well-thought package, um, which is you making a chord progression or a very slow but developing soundscape. And yeah, that's just what it is. And it doesn't have to be anything more than that. Um, yeah. There's all sorts of ambient. Some is, let's call it less. Some requires less effort to make, but it doesn't mean it's worse. Sometimes okay, sometimes it is worse when it doesn't speak to you, when it doesn't resonate with you. And that's what people usually tend to call experimental, which is like, there's a lot of effort put into it, but things just come across as weird and unusual and not very easy to listen to uh but sometimes that is the idea fine good go for that that's not bad uh sometimes you don't want to do a whole lot of things but you have if if you're making things minimal you have to have a very good understanding and feeling for what sounds good with minimal patterns minimal sounds minimal arrangements it is not as easy as it might seem um yeah just go try it do something be creative try out some ideas try out some techniques the more ambient music emerges the better it is in my opinion there is no bad music there's just music that wasn't exposed to a big enough audience so like no one liked it or something didn't resonate with the people or the right people weren't around to listen to it, you know. But yeah, music is good. Don't be too lazy about it. Or be lazy, but be very thoughtful of what you're doing. And not just blatantly, you know, play one note and then pitch it up by two semitones and call it an ambient masterpiece. No, it's not. That's just two notes. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say. Ambient is easy. Try it. Uh, making good ambient is not as easy, but it's worth trying for sure. Peace.